Hello from the Animal Kingdom parking lot. I am here today to experience the first ever um, reopening, not first ever, but Tusker House has reopened. So this is the first day of Tusker House. Um, I'm having lunch. Lunch is at 1.30. It is 12.20 right now. So I have about an hour. Um, I'm super excited. I haven't really done one of these in a long time. So I might be a little bit rusty, but we, I kind of had a busy month. Um, I went home for Memorial Day back to Ohio and then Corey and I went to Anna Maria Island um, for the weekend last weekend, which was a lot of fun. So I just haven't had a lot of time to do videos because I normally do them on the weekend. Um, so I'm super excited today. We have a really exciting few months ahead of us. Um, we're actually going to, um, neck, we're going to Disneyland in a week and a half, and then we're going to Vero Beach, um, after that for the weekend. I'm so excited. I snagged a reservation for my friend. I've never been there. Um, and then September, August is pretty quiet. September is my birthday. And then October is the 50th anniversary. And then we go to Aulani. I am super excited, um, but for now, let's have fun at Animal Kingdom. It, this parking lot is hotter than the sun surface. It's actually not too sunny here in Central Florida these la this last week, um, but it's just really humid. So it's definitely the start of summer. Um, it's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to anyone that's watching this, which I'm sure is not many, but um, if you are a father, Happy Father's Day. It's a little windy. We are a week at Disney World, or a little bit less than a week, and so no masks required at all. Um, unless you're on transportation, which includes the monorail or, well, a boat, I guess, but they say that you don't have to if you're on a boat because it's open air. Um, but I guess like Skyliner and monorail are the only really things, and a bus, sorry the only things that require a mask right now. So I am going completely maskless because I am vaccinated. And oh yes, if you're not vaccinated, you're supposed to wear a mask all the time. I don't think a lot of people are, but I am. So I am going completely maskless and I'm happy about it and I'm okay with it. We, I am in, so don't know why I said we because there's no one with me. But I am in Animal Kingdom. Um, I have, as a local, I have transitioned away from Magic Bands. So I just use the My uh, Magic Mobile, which you can add your pass to your wallet on My Disney Experience. You can do it that way and you can add it to your phone. And then whenever you come into the park, you just have to open up your wallet um, or you don't even have to open it up and it scans you in. So it's kind of nice not to have a magic band. Just use my phone for everything. Here is a view of walking into the park right now. Park hopping is not allowed yet. So it's just the regular day guests that are here right now. Because it's one, so you can see it's a little cloudy, but it's not too bad. A lot of people are leaving, I think, to park hop. I'm gonna go into the gift shop and see if there's anything new in there, which most likely there's not. But we shall see. Here is the Luca merchandise. So here's Luca in fish form. I think it's so cute. And then here's his friend. And then here's the cats, and there's some really cute shirts. Um, I loved this movie. It was so cute and so endearing. And I just think the storyline is like perfect for a child um, that's kind of coming of age and kind of like to treat everyone with kindness. So I loved it. It was super cute, and I'm obsessed with Italy. So. It was perfect for that. There's the shirts. That's the adult shirt. Um, and then here's the kids. 
And then here's some new stuff too. These, which I don't know why they keep adding all this, but these are the magic keepers. So you can take your little puck from your magic band and you can put it in these magic keepers. But I um, don't even use magic bands anymore. So I guess I don't really need these, but these are fun. Just seems a little delayed when they're kind of moving away from magic bands. Here's the mint green collection. Um, I actually got this spirit jersey. I don't know why, but this fabric on this mint green spirit jersey is so soft compared to the other spirit jerseys. And it's just really soft. And then here's the backpack. The lighting isn't very good in here, but this is the mint green lounge fly backpack. So you can see it a little bit better. It's very pretty, but I'm not getting it. Um, it also has this, which is like a little like wristlet. Cute. And then there is spirit jersey masks. Um, there's ears too, but I don't. I don't know if the ears. I don't see them. But here's here's some more. There's lots of them. I think I'm going to ride Expedition Everest. Expedition Networks is only 15 minutes right now, which was pretty low for that. Um, the safari is 35 minutes, and I don't think I would make that because the safari is like 20 minutes. So I'm going to do that after lunch. But I'm going to go ride Expedition Everest now. I'm kind of a scaredy cat on roller coasters, so this should be fun by myself. Let's see if there's any character cavalcades coming. Nope. I think that the single rider line is open, but if it's only 15 minutes, I don't really need to go on that. But I'm gonna go check it out and see if it is open. We'll see. Okay, this looks really long. I was not expecting this. It says it's only 15 minutes. Okay, it is not open, the single rider line. So I'm going to get in the line. Apparently this is only 15 minutes. I've never waited this long out here, but I guess I'm gonna trust them. If it really is 15 minutes, we'll see. This is a super hectic area because people are exiting here. Uh, so if you are uh, scared of crowds, don't wait. Well, this line is definitely longer than 15 minutes, but it's not horrible, I suppose. It's pretty fast moving. We are now heading into the Yeti Museum. Wow, this is really cool. I always forget how cool this queue is. The Yeti, a living legend for thousands of years. Wow. This is so cool. There's a Yeti footprint. So cool. Here's the Royal and non Tea Company sign. Here's some masks, some really creepy masks. Oh, look at that. A deer mask. So creepy. Oh, here's some scat. The bear and tiger scare. Oh, not. Nah. Oh, there's a book We're not in there. We're almost in the loading area. That was pretty quick. But it was still longer than 15. Alright, we got it. That was about. 20 minutes or so. We are in the row five. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. I'm so nervous. I used to love this ride, but I don't love it so much anymore because I'm old. around to 
to show you. Gosh, that was yeah. so terrifying. My hand is still shaking from trying to hold my camera on that ride. It was fun, but it was scary. That part where you go back, it's like the G-force. You basically yeah. feel like you're going upside down. It is so scary, but fun. I don't know if I've ever been on it by myself, to be honest with you. Well, I have some sad news. I left my ears in a bag. I was like such in like a hurry, I guess, to get off. I left them in a bag. I don't know if they will be able to get them. I guess I'll have to like go to the lost and found, the guest services, and give them my name because I don't think they retrieve this stuff from the vehicles until the end of the day. So I may have lost my cheetah ears or tiger, whatever ears they are. I'm very sad, but it's my own fault. I would just, oh my gosh, this, these birds are really up. I would just buy another pair of ears, but I don't think they even have these anymore. So I may have to find them on like eBay or Mercari or Poshmark. <sighs> I normally don't ever put anything in the pouch on rides. I just like hold it on. And since I was like videoing myself, I wasn't really paying attention. So it's my own fault. Luckily, they're only like $25 or something that I paid. So it's not that big of a deal, but they don't even have these anymore. <sighs> I'm so mad at myself. Okay, I just walked around all of the shops and they don't even sell those ears anymore, which is kind of what I was expecting. So I think I'm gonna grab my lunch. I'm gonna go back on Expedition Everest, see if they still have them or if they brought them up to the front of the park, the guest services yet, and see if maybe they can get them. But if not, I'll just have to purchase a new pair because I'm an idiot. So here is Tusker House. Tusker House is in Africa. So it's right over the bridge in Africa. Like right where the you go for the Lion King show. So today again is the first day of reopening. 
So I am excited to check it out. So let's see what they show on their menu. This area is always so fun with the music by which they bring back the performers. Ooh. Here's the menu. It looks pretty good. And then here's the check-in, which I've actually already checked in. Oh my gosh, it is so humid today. They must be running behind because it's 10 minutes after I checked in and I still haven't been called. Which I guess is kind of, oh, I just got a text message. It just came through. I guess I'm going to go eat now. Oh wow, the buffets turned into tables. Great. Oh, right behind her. Okay. I'm actually sitting in the buffet area. I guess. 
rice with the pork on the left, the chicken on the right, and then the beef. And there's some potatoes and some vegetables and jasmine rice. tried literally everything that I was given to me. I did not eat it all, but I tried it all. It was really, really good. Like I said, lunch was $55, which is really a lot of money for lunch. I'm used to like McDonald's, like $6, but $55 for lunch was a lot, but it's Disney. Everything is expensive at Disney, especially the sit down restaurants. So, I don't know if it's your only character meal. I thought the characters were amazing. It was so much fun. The song was amazing. So if this is your one character me meal, then go for it. I think it's totally worth it. For me, being a local, $55 is a lot to spend to come here. So I wouldn't do it again for myself, but I think it's totally worth it if you're on vacation. And this is your one character meal. Characters were super fun. I loved it. Um, so I definitely recommend it, but it's up to you on if you want to spend that much money per person. Okay, now I'm going to go see 
if I can by any chance get my ears back. I'm sure they don't have them anymore. Maybe they sent them off to get services, but I'm going to try to see if they have them. Fingers crossed because I don't want to have to buy another pair of ears. I do have some somewhat good news. They found my ears. They had them. They asked me what row I was in, what they looked like, and she said they sent them to guest services. So that's where I'm headed now. Guest services to make see if they have them. Hopefully nothing happened in transit that they'd be lost. Alright, heading to guest relations. Let's keep my fingers crossed that they have me ears because I don't want to have to go back into the park and wait around. So let's see, I think it's right up here. Hopefully they have them. Yes. They have my ears. I'm so happy. I've never lost anything at the parks before, so I was really worried. I would have bought another one, but they were, they don't sell these anymore. So I found them. Yay, I'm so happy. Ever since this morning, I haven't really been hot. It's actually felt really comfortable. It's humid, yes, but it's not hot. And this is why you want clouds during the summer for your Disney trip, because it helps keep it cool. If it's bright sunshine, I know it looks prettier, but, it makes it hotter. So I always, I always like clouds during summer because it keeps everything more cool. All right, we are back in the safari. Safari says 20 minute wait. So hopefully it is. Looks kind of um, long, I guess, but we'll see. Almost here. And it's going pretty fast. It probably is only 20 minutes. This will help keep your wait time to a minute. Once again, please keep your group together. If you have any little ones, they can be seated on the left floor to help you Please do not hold them out in the air at all, or it's going to be a nice little place. There is a hippo right here. Hippos are nocturnal animals, so they sleep during the day, but they're most active at night. Hippos sleep under the water and can hold their breath for up to eight minutes at a time. When they need air, their bodies will naturally rise to the surface. They'll get the air that they need. Sink back down without ever oh my gosh, we are stopped because there is a zebra. Oh, here we go. There's a zebra in the way and not moving. Look how sweaty my face is. Yikes. Because of the color of their There's some zebras around here now. Their noses are black, which means Well, that was a pretty good safari. 
I didn't get to I didn't get to see all of the animals. Like there wasn't any lions or anything. Um, I didn't really get to see a good close up of um, the elephants, but I saw some close ups of the rhinoceros, the hippo. So it was pretty good. Probably ranked at like a seven out of ten safari. You never get the same safari, so I always try to do the safari every single time I come. My goal is to hear the lion roar. I never have, but my husband has. I'm very jealous, so that's my bucket list. And that is it for my day at Animal Kingdom. What a fun day. Lunch was amazing. I'm so glad I decided to stick with the lunch and try it out. I loved it so much. I'm not going to go back because like I said, it's $5, but I think if you're here on vacation, it's definitely a great option for your character meal. Um, what else? Oh, I rode the safari. It's Everest. <laughs> Worst, I lost my ears, but thank heavens I got them back. So all in all, it was a super fun Sunday at Animal Kingdom. Now it's time to head home and unfortunately start my week my work week. So thanks for following along. See you later.